Hey guys, today I want to share with you my top three toys that every hamster owner needs. These are all toys that I have used for many years. I have found myself using them over and over and over again and finding my hamsters continuously loving them. And I really feel like every hamster could benefit from having at least one of these three toys, if not all three of them. Number one will come as no surprise to a lot of you, Bendy Bridges. Bendy, 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 Bendy Bridges. I have a problem and I am totally not ashamed. The reason I have so many Bendy Bridges is because they can be used for so many different things. They can be used as a house or a bridge, a seesaw, a climbing obstacle, a ramp to shelves or levels. Hung from the top of a cage, they can be used as a swinging platform. They can be used to create dividers throughout your cage to separate off different areas or different types of substrates. They can be used for purely decorative reasons. And of course, being made of wood means they can also be chewed on by your hamster. You can also get bendy bridges in several different sizes, including small, medium, there's one even bigger than this, and you can get a long version like this. Toy number two is any kind of hide and seek toy. Everything from hide and seek logs to hide and seek cubes and all the weird things in between. The only downside with hide and seek toys, like with a lot of hamster toys, is those sold towards hamsters tend to be only big enough for dwarf and Chinese hamsters. So if you're looking for these kind of toys for Syrians, I would always recommend going for sizes made for rats or maybe even bigger animals such as ferrets. The majority of hamsters will love playing with these toys, dipping and diving in and out of the holes. I find dwarf pairs especially love playing in these kinds of toys and you don't even have to spend any money on them because they're so easy to make at home using something as simple as a cardboard tube that you just cut holes out of or even a paper egg carton that again, you can just cut holes out of. The third and final must-have toy is one that I think is massively underrated, massively under-recommended, and definitely underused by hamster owners. And that is any kind of simple puzzle toy. These are so important for keeping your hamster busy, active, keeping their mind stimulated, keeping them thinking. I think a lot of people underestimate how intelligent hamsters actually are. And while they aren't quite as intelligent as, say, mice or rats, they still have a high level of intelligence and and they still need to have some challenges in their life and that's exactly what puzzle toys will offer them. Personally, I find the best puzzle toys for hamsters are the homemade kind, since a lot of the commercial ones are made for more intelligent animals like rats and hamsters can have a harder time working these out. Even something as simple as a cardboard tube gives you multiple options for different puzzle toys, including this little ball puzzle, which has been one of the most popular one among my past hamsters. I have an entire video on 10 different toys you can make using cardboard tubes, and that video includes several kinds of puzzle toys, so I will link that down below in case you're interested in looking at them. One of my other favourite hamster toys is one I made a few years back, and that is the walnut hanger. This is simply made from walnut shells, and you hide your hamster's favourite snacks among them. They have to climb and forage in order to get to all of their treats. Mesh bird feeders can also make great puzzles, and you can fill them with anything Thing. It doesn't just have to be seeds. If somebody was going to ask me what one toy would I absolutely recommend for every single hamster, it would always be puzzle toys. I think these really are the greatest kind of toy that you can offer to your pet. So there we are, those are my top three must-have toys for all hamster owners. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.